Hey, what's up? This is Ian and uh, cleaning out the back of my van. So, um, yeah, making some progress. So I did, I don't know if you saw a link to the uh, other video I made the other day and you'll be able to see some progress. So this looks a lot cleaner. I can still go over it again, probably over the dash glass there. But um, yeah, a lot of wiping down with some like water and vinegar. And, and uh, then I did how I got this to look like this was so dirty. Like I, I must have went over this, like wiped it down um, probably like three or four times. And then the last time I went with, uh, I took a rag and um, some oil, vitamin E skin oil and why I bought it is uh, I read that like mineral oil can uh, help for help like clean up uh, da like uh, dashes and vinyl and rubber and stuff like that so yeah I really improved the look like made it look much newer like kind of more darker and kind of glossier looking so um, yeah pretty good everything like that black thing starting to get a little corrosion on it and then this thing too look a lot like this is these little dust specks will uh parts of the rag that i use down there so i did that and i hit the mats up and um yeah it's looking a lot better um probably go over some things again in this floor like i've gone i've done this like so many times uh i've probably I, I haven't had the best i just went to the dollar store i didn't want to spend a lot of money so i've had this mop um that brush and then that brush if i had like a big like push kind of broom like for something kind of coarse it would clean pretty good so i just been um before i just use this like stuff on a stick and trying to clean and like there was so much, if you go, I'll link back to that other, like this was just all full. Like, see, there's like a little lower layer there. And like, that was just full of gunk. And these like back here, like totally full of like, I don't even know, a half inch, an inch of just like dirt and old rubber bands and just nasty stuff. And um, yeah, so we're cleaning it up. And this has been our mattress for the last probably four nights. Pretty nice, huh? So we throw that down and then sleep on this and, eh, you know, try to sleep anyways. I haven't slept much since I left the uh, Hampshire. And um, so, um, but, you know, it's a kind of temporary. And uh, just try to power through it. And I've got like a surprisingly lot of energy like just like getting like four or five hours of sleep a night just like so stoked to be um i don't know having this and working on this and just all the pro uh pro like just making little little progress um little bits of progress you know each day and i got a legal like permit to drive back um so i'm pretty stoked and it's good for a month and i got insurance so a few things are trying to fix. I ordered a part for, um, I don't know if I showed it to you last time, but um, I'll show you what I, what's a problem this thing's got. Um, but look at that. Isn't it nice, nice and black? And like, looks a lot cleaner than it was. Floor still needs some work. And um, like you can just kind of see like back in there how gross it is. But uh, yeah. Uh, you see that thing right there? It's supposed to have bushings on it. There's no bushings on it. And uh, so I ordered a new part, and not just the bushings, but the, it's called a link, uh, uh, it's called sway bar link. And I'm going to put that on. So I think I can probably handle it. It doesn't look too complicated, and I don't need to take the tire off, and I don't need to jack it up, I don't think. So... Um, it just kind of stabilizes the steering. And um, so hopefully I'll get that tomorrow, day after. And then I need to get new front tires. And um, then it might be pretty good to go. There was a mechanic that I said before that 
inspected this. I might take it back to them once before, and I'm going to probably change change the oil and uh, filter and maybe the air uh, filter. So, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty exciting. And so this uh, probably cool. I'll go for a short walk. It's pretty nice down here. This is a cool river. Actually, here, for safety's sake, I'm going to close this up. I don't want to be too inviting. So this is cool. This door here locks up in the back. All kinds of cool, cool. Uh, is that locks? And so, oh, nice. I'll deal with it later. Uh, don't lock your jacket in the door, but you can, uh, let's get a key so you can lock that. And yeah, let's show. I'll show you down here. It's pretty nice. I like the uh, North Dakota. Like, it's kind of flat, but uh, time of year, any time, pretty much anywhere this time of year is going to be anywhere that has like trees and leaves. It's going to be pretty nice. Hardwood trees, anyways. New England's like nice. Right, right now, actually, some kind of mist on the peak of that. And, but hey, we got some nice yellow trees. There's no maple trees here that I've seen by the looks of it. But this is uh, Fargo, North Dakota. There's a place close to the river so we can get water to clean out the. Uh, back of my van, and I don't have access to the van water right now, so I have to keep the in stores and stuff. But uh, no more noise vehicles. I uh, will try to drive it down here. Archery season. Nice. So. I don't know the name of this river. You can Google it and let us know if you want. But this is North Dakota where I'm standing on, and that over there is Minnesota. So pretty cool, huh? It's kind of like where I grew up, New Hampshire and the Connecticut River. I grew up on the Connecticut River and they're, yeah, near it. And, I left in, live in a couple different places. But, uh, so that's Minnesota. It's a nice river, I think. Color is pretty nice. And there's a lot of clay in it. Like I got water out of here, and it's like very, very clay, clay-like. But yeah, pretty nice. Anyways, this is Ian saying so long.